All right, welcome back to another episode of Marketing Mastery with Hunter Sharneski, president of SharneskiPower.com, hashtag sprint or die. Coming at you today with the second C in the three C's of marketing, which is challenge. So whenever I go to somebody's Instagram page, LinkedIn, or website, it takes me about five seconds to start getting really pissed, okay? And the reason why is whoever did your Instagram or your website, right, whoever has been consulting you, you need to get your money back, okay? Too many words, it doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't, whatever they told you to put on their website doesn't work. Nobody cares that your grandfather started the business. And certainly nobody cares what your 10 year plan is or otherwise. All they want to know is what you offer and more importantly, how they get it, right? All those words, this meaningless insider language and subliminal, subliminal messaging, right? That's, that's all it's gonna lead to is a website visit, right? Somebody's gonna check into your website and then check out because they're confused. We talked about this last week. People run away from confusion and towards clarity, right? So I wanna talk about the two things that you can do for your website, your Instagram, any, any platform you use to where uh, you need to engage with your audience to, uh, to grow your business, right? We're talking about calls to action. Right? Because Donald Miller had a great quote in his book, Building Your Story Brand, which is a book I recommend you buy. And he said, customers don't take action unless they're challenged to take action, which is true. Right? So a weak, passive aggressive button that says learn more or contact us or our story, all that does is screams weakness to the customer. Right? It shows how little you believe in your product. Right? If you believe in your products, you should feel morally obligated to slap a button that says, buy now, hire John, schedule an appointment, which is a direct call to action. Okay? When somebody goes to your website, they need to know how to do business with you. Okay, this is a speed coach. This guy's a strength coach. Okay? How do I get it? Right here. Boom. Buy now. Hire John. Schedule an appointment. Okay? And then the other type of call to action I want to talk about today is the transitional call to action. Now, make no mistake, you will get plenty of leads and plenty of business from a direct call to action on your website. But there will be folks who want and need to have some relationship built with you first. They need to have some trust, okay? Which is kind of like dating. Right? You wouldn't go up to somebody and say, will you marry me on the street, right? Which is basically what you're saying with a direct call to action. That'd be kind of weird, right? You need to take them out on a few dates first, which is exactly what your transitional call to action will do for them. Okay? And what is the example? What are some examples of transitional calls to action? Things like downloadable PDFs, okay? And these are all free, by the way. They should cost your consumer zero dollars, okay? Free PDFs, free eBooks, right? If you go to my website, there's three free eBooks, Speed Stratum, Three C's of Marketing, and the Three P's of Speed. If you go to Mike Robertson's website, he'll drip you his R7 protocol over a set, over seven days, a mini course. That's his lead generator. That's his transitional call to action. A place that I used to work for here in town, Powertrain Train Systems, their transitional call to action was a free trial workout, right? Come on in, try us out, Right? Have that relationship built, have that trust established, and then we'll take your money. Right? So these two things here, I think that's really not all you need, but these things will definitely cause a huge uptick in leads, consultations, and sales closed. Right? Because if your website isn't generating, let's say, 20 leads per month, which is of a bare minimum, right? That's five leads per week, right? And then half of those leads should be converted into consultations or what I call intake interviews, okay? So out of the 20, 10 should be brought in for consultations. And then a third of those should be converted into paying customers. That's three new clients per month. And that is a bare, bare minimum, extremely conservative. If you aren't getting three new clients per month, 
then your doors won't be open much longer, especially during these really, really challenging times. <laughs> I'll allow the word challenge for the three, second scene of three seasons of marketing, right? So in review, when somebody goes to your website, they need to be very, very, or I should say not confused at all, right? You need to show them a direct call to action, buy now, hire John, schedule an appointment, and then immediately next to it, have a transitional call to action, free PDF, free whatever, you know, download, ebook, what have you. And the question I always get with the transitional call to action is, Hunter, how much do I give away? Well, first of all, I would say that it never hurts to be known as a really, really generous coach or training business, okay? That never hurts, right? Because you're gonna remain top of mind to the consumer. That consumer is going to think a few weeks from now after they downloaded your, your transitional call to action, hey, that person did me a solid, right? They gave my, my daughter a four-week speed training program for free. Then they're going to be more likely to do business with you. And if you really know what you're doing, you'll attach a sales funnel to the transitional call to action because the transitional call to action should cost the consumer an email address, okay? So now they're, now they're getting into your email list to, for your ecosystem, so you continue to nurture them through that. But then they're also getting dripped into a sales campaign after, trans after they download the traditional call to action there. Okay? So I hope this makes sense. These are two super easy things you can add to your website or your social media to see a huge uptick in engagement with your audience. If you want to take a deeper dive into all things marketing for your training business or service, download my book, The Three C's of Marketing, at my website, and I'll put it in the show notes or the uh, the link below as well. If you are too busy for all that, if you want to stay in your lane where you operate best, right? You want to remain in your unique ability, your superpower, and you just don't have time for this, and you'd like me to handle all this for you, then send me an email, hunter@sharnskypower.com, and we'll take care of you. Again, this has been an episode of Marketing Mastery with Hunter Sharnsky, president of Sharnskypower.com. Hashtag Sprinter Die. I'll talk to you later.